Hi, welcome to Altoona Beauty School's orientation. In front of you, you will have a red file folder and inside you will find a catalog and a packet of whatever program you are enrolling for. So we'll start with the catalog. You can either follow along with the video or you can just listen. So your catalog starting on page number two is a table of contents. And then on page three is just a little bit of information about Altoona Beauty School. On page four, it goes over the facilities and the equipment and also the objectives of the school. Page five is our staff, so it tells you who the owner, president, director is and also who our instructors are. Then below that is rules and regulations. So you must always be in a clean uniform jacket and it has to be worn and buttoned at all times. No cleavage should be shown and you must wear a cami or tank under the smock. You are able to wear black bottoms and a black or white shirt. Shoes must be closed toed, no Crocs, and you must wear socks with them. No clothes that are ripped, torn, or have holes in are permitted to be worn. All undergarments must be covered at all times, including boxers and bra tops. Any clothing, attire, or accessory that lends to disruptive distraction of any kind is strictly prohibited. Coats and jackets are not to be worn during school unless there is a heating problem that occurs. Clothing, apparel, book bags, and jewelry which advertises or promotes drug, alcohol, tobacco products, sexual messages, hate groups, or racism are not permitted. Shorts and skirts must be knee length and capri pants are acceptable. Head wraps, they must be black or white. On page six, personal appearance is a must. You must have neat you must be neat, clean, and come to class with hair and makeup done. Personal hygiene is a must when you are dealing with the public. All books and equipment are necessary for all classes. You will be asked to leave if you do not bring all of your equipment, including a charged tablet. Mannequins are to be stored in your lockers and not on the clinic floor. The use of unprofessional language will not be tolerated. Cell phone usage is permitted in student break room or outside only. You must pay full attention to clinic be helpful and courteous at all times. Non-smoking facility, eating and drinking is done in the break room only. No personal phone calls, emergency calls only. Students must pay for the cost of supplies for their own personal use, and it must be paid prior to having the services done. All cleanups must be done before you leave. There is no littering on the school property. Jacks and purses. Jackets and purses must be kept in the lockers. The use of alcohol or drugs is forbidden. If caught, you will be terminated. Cyber stalking or cyber bullying is not permitted. Failure to comply with these rules and regulations will result in loss of hours due to dismissal and a write-up. Students receiving three write-ups during enrollment will be terminated. Any school-related problem that you have, please contact the school office and it will be handled accordingly. On page seven is policies and it is first talking about attendance. As a full-time student, you must attend a minimum of 24 hours per week. For cosmetology and aesthetics, full-time hours are Monday through Friday, 8.15 to four o'clock. Part-time students must attend a minimum of 16 hours each week. Cosmetology is Monday through Friday, 8.15 to 12.15. Nail tech and aesthetics is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 8.15 to four o'clock. All students based on enrollment status must maintain a 70% attendance average in order to achieve satisfactory academic progress. Attendance is monitored daily. Each week, the director checks individual students' weekly attendance. A student not meeting their weekly requirements are contacted. All students will be given a contracted completion date. If the student does not complete the required hours of training by the given completion date, the student will be charged the prevailing tuition rate per hour for all uncompleted hours. For cosmetology and aesthetic students, you will be scheduled to attend Saturday classes. For cosmetology students, that is one to two Saturdays each month. And for aesthetics, that is one to two Saturdays throughout your training. Saturday hours are 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. On page eight, tardiness. Any student not physically present at the start of his or her scheduled class will be considered tardy. A student attending Altoona Beauty School must attend all scheduled theory classes on time. 
All classes begin at 8.15. If you cannot make it by 8.15, then you have the option to come at 10 o'clock. If you cannot make it by 10 o'clock, then you are able to come in at 12 noon. If you cannot be here by 12 noon, then you are not permitted to attend classes for the day. Exceptions will be made for those students attending classes late for a legitimate reason only, such as a job schedule, childcare, etc. This policy was designed to prevent students from coming to class late and disrupting those students who were on time. Excessive tardiness may be cause for discontinuance of training. Snow day closings. Altoona Beauty School is a clock hour school and we must remain open as much as possible. Please follow us on social media, Instagram, Facebook, also will be updated for classes if they are delayed or canceled. You can also watch WTAJ TV News or go to wearecentralpa.com for closings. The Altoona Beauty School app will also be updated as well. Leave of absence on page nine. A leave of absence must be requested in writing in advance and include reason to the director of the school. Leave of absences will be granted to those students with medical excuses only. The school has the final decision as to permitting the leave of absence. Any leave of absence cannot exceed 60 days. If the student does not return by the expiration of leave of absence or takes an unapproved leave of absence, the student will be withdrawn. Class cuts, they are not permitted. On page 10, makeup work. Students who fail an exam, either in theory or practical, will be required to take makeup work. Students who fail an exam, either in theory or practical, will be required to make up that exam. All failed exams must be made up within one month from the scheduled exam. If the student fails to make up the exam in one month, a zero will be recorded in the student's progress chart. If a student is absent the day a scheduled exam is given, the students will be required to make up the exam the next day he or she is present for class. If the exam is not made up at this time, a zero will be recorded. Early dismissals. We do not do early dismissals. We are open for regular business hours, and if you choose to leave early, then that is on your own. If you are leaving early, then you do have to complete the early dismissal chart at the front desk prior to 10 a.m. Rest periods. You are given two 10 minute breaks during your day and also a 45 minute lunch. You will have two 10 minute breaks, one around 10 o'clock and another one around two, and your 45 minute lunch will be scheduled in between according to clinic. Termination. Termination will result if a student does not comply with the rules and regulations of the school, if the student does not maintain the required hours for Title IV aid, or does not maintain satisfactory academic progress. Page 11, placement. We do offer job assistance through our school. A job board is located in the student hallway, and we do have numerous local contacts that can aid the student in employment or if you need career counseling. Conduct, you must conduct yourself in a professional manner. Internal complaint procedure, if you should have a complaint, you can do the following steps. You can notify the instructor of the complaint, if at all possible, in writing. He or she will help in any way possible. If your instructor does not help, then you can come to the director with your complaint in writing. He or she will help in any way, and if you are still not satisfied, then you can take your complaint to the president. If not satisfied, then you can contact NACIS, which is our accreditation agency. On page 12, Title IX coordinator, which would be me, Kim Smith. If you are feeling threatened at any time or any crime has been committed, you need to come to me to file a formal complaint. Enrollment for all classes. A non-refundable $50 application fee will be collected at orientation. Registration must be made two weeks prior to the first day of classes. Class dates start very accord. Oh my. Enrollment for all classes. A non-refundable $50 application fee will be collected at orientation. Registration must be made two weeks prior to the first day of class. Class start dates vary according to the various programs. Please contact the admission office for all the dates. And all classes are taught in English and all materials are in English as well. Enrollment status change. 
Should you need to drop from a full-time student to a part-time student, it must be done within the first month of enrollment. A change in your enrollment status must be requested to the director of the school. Enrollment status change will only be granted to those students with legitimate reasons, such as change in employment, health reasons, or child care services. Student file access. All files must be reviewed in the office with a staff member. No documents will be permitted to leave the school. Release of student information. There is something known as FERPA, which is Family Educational Right to Privacy Act, and that means that we are not allowed to release any student information without their written permission. On page 14, the grading system. All theory grades are given by a percentage. Practical requirements vary according to the program that the student is enrolled in. Your theory grades and practical grades are averaged together monthly, and you must maintain a 70% in all academics. Students must complete specific requirements based on the program enrolled in, and students will receive an S for satisfactorily completing any task or a U for unsatisfactorily completing the task. And then the grading scale is below. On page 15, requirements for graduation, all students must complete all written requirements with a 70% or higher. All students must complete all practical requirements. Students must maintain satisfactory academic progress. And students are required to do clinical work. All students must have met financial obligations. Next is the requirements for state board and it lists those for each of the programs. And it also will tell you that when you go to apply for your state boards, there is a criminal background check that will be run as well. On page 16, there is a school calendar that gives you the start dates for the different programs. It also tells you the school hours and the holidays that we are closed for. Satisfactory academic progress is pages 17 to 21. You must maintain 70% attendance and also 70% in academics. The school does check each month and you also are given a report card. If you fall below a 70% in either academics or attendance, you are placed on an Altoona Beauty School probation. You must improve your attendance or academics the following month. Students can only be on probation three times throughout their enrollment. Periodically, the federal government will check on progress. If you are not maintaining progress when we are required to check, you are placed on a federal warning. Again, you must be maintaining progress when you are checked or you will be withdrawn from school as you are ineligible to receive federal funding. On page 22, it talks about admissions requirements. All students must complete the Altoona Beauty School enrollment application on our website. You also must complete your school visits and pay the $50 non-refundable application fee. You also must have a high school diploma or a GED. If it is an unfamiliar high school diploma, it is going to be verified and foreign diplomas must be translated. Transfers. Credit hours will be given up to 800 hours with an official transcript from previously attended schools. All students wishing to transfer hours into Altoona Beauty School will be required to complete the following. Provide an official transcript of hours. Successfully pass a theory and practical exam. Upon completion of the exams, the student will be notified by the admissions department of the results. In order to transfer 800 clock hours, the student must have a 70% or higher in both theory and practical exams. Should the results be less than 70%, transfer hours of 400 will be accepted. On page 23, re-enrollment. If you are withdrawn from the institution and you wish to re-enroll, you do have to wait 180 days. Curriculum, on pages 23 to 28, there is a curriculum breakdown of each program. On page 28, extracurricular activities. Periodically, we do invite guest speakers into the school and they bring the latest techniques and beauty trends. We also do school competitions and they are to provide students with excitement and motivation. We also do sometimes extracurricular activities. Periodically, guest speakers are brought into the school and they are bringing the latest techniques and trends to the, of the industry. 
We also do in-school competitions and that provides students with excitement and motivation. We also try to attend hair shows or beauty shows. Students are encouraged to attend but are not required. With the hair shows, we try to attend local and state hair shows throughout the year. Graduation ceremonies are held three times each year. We also do monthly achievement awards and that is certificates of recognition that's given for perfect attendance, A plus advertiser, and student vouchers. Academic advising. Once every quarter, students are counseled on attendance, grades, and personal achievements. Students are encouraged to seek help from the supervisor if they are having a problem with an instructor or fellow student at any time. On pages 29 to 31, it goes over the tuition and fees for each program that we offer. Refund policy, pages 31 to 34. If there is an unforeseen reason that you need to withdraw or you are withdrawn from school, a refund calculation will be done based on your scheduled hours in the program. Any refunds due to the student, government, or agencies will be refunded within 30 days. On page 34 at the bottom, it talks about career opportunities. On page 35, it talks about the harassment policy. Harassment of any kind will not be tolerated at the school. On page 36, it goes over the different financial aid programs that we have. At the bottom, it tells you who we are licensed by. On page 37, it tells you our accrediting. On page 37, it tells you that we are accredited by NACIS, which is the National Accrediting Commission of Career Arts and Sciences. And then below that, it tells you what members. Oh my. Page 37 tells you that we are accredited by NACIS, which is the National Accrediting Commission of Career Arts and Sciences. And below that, it lists all the different associations that we are members of. This is just a very brief overview of your school catalog, so I do suggest that you take it home and that you read it. The other packet that you will find in the folder is the packet of information of course outline for whatever program you are enrolled in. It gives you a daily explanation of your schedule, so it tells you about roll call, your theory classes, demonstration, student practice, clinic practice. When you start clinic at 300 hours as a cosmetology student is when you are able to begin practice on the public. Nails, you are allowed to practice on the general public at 50 hours, and for aesthetics, it is at 75 hours. It also tells you about cleanup procedures and where they are posted. If a student is absent and their job is not completed, another student should help to complete that. And each student must do their duty before leaving for the day, even if you are leaving early. Bulletin board, there are bulletin boards in the student hallway and this just gives you all important messages that you need to know about. And breaks and lunches, it goes over that you do get two 10 minute breaks, one around 10 o'clock and two o'clock, and then you will have a 45 minute lunch in between. The next couple pages goes over the course outline. It also breaks down the curriculum for you. And then it tells you the curriculum objectives. So it goes over each subject or topic that you are going to be covering while you, while you are enrolled at school. So once again, this is just a brief overview of the packet of information that you are getting for orientation. I do suggest that you take it home and that you do read everything thoroughly. Thank you for choosing Altoona Beauty School as your Thank you for choosing Altoona Beauty School for your training for whichever program you are enrolling in.